Hello guys, Alex J. Audis here. Um, I'm happy to say I'm bringing Sebastian Michaelis to you guys today. Um, this one has an actual story behind it, so it won't be just like Sebastian talking. Um, if you want some like little short ones that has just like Sebastian's dialogue, then tell me and I'll try to make that happen, but it will be shorter just to say. Also, thank you guys for getting me to that 1,080 subscribers. That is a lot. Thank you. Um, whenever, uh, it isn't really that soon, it's like in a couple of months, but, um, whenever my one year birthday for this channel <laughs> comes, I will be going live on my live stream channel and I will have that announcement up for a while so the word gets around to all my subscribers and, um, I think you guys have heard enough of me babbling. So, I hope you enjoy! Two years ago, you faced a great tragedy where all the family that you had left died in a terrible accident. This accident included a train crash that a few people, including you, were able to survive. The train crash wasn't accidental, though. It was planned by a group of hijackers. This caused a great amount of suffering for a few months, until you figured out a way that you could get a wish granted. Although you didn't know what it was that would grant it, you went ahead without hesitation and did the ritual. Suddenly, a handsome guy with black hair and red piercing eyes appear before you. It has been some quite some time since I've been summoned. So dear, please tell me why you summoned me here. You were stunned into silence. I don't have all day, human. You finally mustered up the courage to speak and asked him exactly what he was. You should know what I am, since you're the one who summoned me, but I guess I wouldn't mind to briefly tell you what I am. By your human's belief systems, I'm the more handsome version of a demon. You were certain that this was a dream. No, it had to be a dream, right? There was no way that this could be real, or so you thought. You pinched yourself to make sure that you weren't dreaming this up somehow. Ouch, you said, as you realized that this, in fact, was 100% real. I promise you that this isn't some kind of fantasy that's happening in your mind, even if you wish it was. He looked into your eyes with a smirk. So, I'll ask you again, listener. Why did you summon me? You gulped and told him that you wanted him to grant you a wish. That isn't exactly how this works. You felt worry growing your chest at those words. What does that mean? Can you not grant me my wish? You asked him almost on the brink of tears. He sighed. Yes and no. It's... It's a little more complicated, but simply, yes, I can indeed. He could see that a uh, light lit up in your eyes at the words that he had just said. You asked him if he could explain what the situation was with that exactly. Well, since you asked so nicely, I am basically forced to tell you. The situation with your wish is that I can assist you in your life until that wish comes to fruition. This assistance includes following your orders. And that is, and the only condition is that when your wish comes true, that you have to let me devour your soul. Also, this is completed with a contract that is ended with a seal that is permanent. He slowly processed all the information that he had just given you and then responded with, So... I'd have to sell my soul. The mysterious demon giggled and told you that you were indeed correct. That is the only condition. Correct? You asked just to make sure that you had heard the handsome demon correctly. Yes, that would be correct, listener. You took the information to make a serious decision on what you wanted to do. Either way, you felt that you just had to take the offer because without your wish granted, you would feel no compelling reason to live. I'll take your offer. I'll make the contract with you. 
and when my wish or my life's purpose is complete, I shall let you devour my soul. The demon smirked. Are you sure about this, listener? You know you don't have to make the contract if you don't want to. You were determined to make your wish come true, so you told the demon, If I wasn't sure about this, would I have summoned you in the first place, demon? The demon laughed and agreed with you. Where would you want the contract sealed to be, listener? Those words confuse you. What do you mean, where? The demon responded, You know, like your tongue, your eye, hand, or maybe your neck. He says he kissed you gently on the neck and smirked as he saw your face go redder and redder. You scurried away from the demon and said that you wanted the seal to be on your tongue. So your tongue is the lucky spot for the seal. Okay then, let's go on with the ritual after make sure one last time you're completely sure that you want to go with, through with the ritual. He looked at you with question in his eyes. So what will your final answer I be wonder I wonder, listener? Without hesitation you told him looking directly in his eyes, I am completely one hundred percent sure that I want to go through with this ritual. The demon liked the determination that he saw in your eyes as he continued with the ritual. After the ritual is done, you explain to the demon that you are from a rich family that owned an international training company trading company and that he would be your butler until you wish to avenge your dead relatives that were in the train crash because of some hijackers. As you command, my master. You even gave him a name, Sebastian Michaelis. Returning to present day. You were sound asleep in your bed when you were woken up by your butler saying, Come on, young master, it's time to wake up. You do have work to do that has to be done today. You rubbed your eyes and slowly sat up in your way too comfortable bed that you tempted to crawl back underneath the covers and go to sleep. You grumbled to your butler. You know I'm a teenager. Stop calling me young master. Just call me master or something. Just don't call me a little kid. You could hear him snicker a bit as he said, If you say so, master. Now that's more like it, you exclaimed. Now would you please hand me my clothes so that I could get dressed, Sebastian? Yes, master, he said as he got your clothes for the day that you had picked out from, for the, that you had picked out the previous day. Thank you. You can go now while I get changed. You sure that you don't want me to help you change, master? He asked you in a gentle tone, which made you turn a bit red. Uh, 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 n- n- no. Uh, just get out and let me change, damn it. You yelled at him as you shoved him out of your room and closed the door. You could feel your heart beat so hard that it felt like your ribcage would break. It wasn't just the fact that he wanted to dress you in your clothes. It was the fact that it was him asking to dress you in your clothes. To be honest, you never really had a romantic interest with Sebastian until recently. The thing that made you fall for him so badly was the way that he looked so, that he was so kind yet cold towards you. And although he always acted this way, you couldn't help but take notice of his actions. That made you fall head over heels for him, although you knew that he would probably never show your feelings. That was okay though. You liked admiring him from the sidelines. All of that aside, you decided that it was probably about time that you got dressed before Sebastian came in to check on you for taking so long. So you hurriedly got dressed and ran down the stairs to the dining hall for breakfast. What took you so long, listener? You got red thinking about all the previous thoughts you had of him while you should have been getting dressed. Uh, not, nothing important. Sebastian smirked and got close to your ear and whispered, Ah. Nothing important, you say. Are you sure about that, kitty cat? When he said that, it set a shiver down your spine. Please don't do that. Do what? He whispered into your other ear. Whispering in my ear. My my ears are really sensitive. Sebastian backed away from you smoking. Okay, I guess I can stop for now. The thoughts that were going through your brain was... 
for now. What does he mean by that? Does it mean that it will happen again? I really don't think I'll be able to survive next time that he does something like that again. My heart won't be able to take it. Master, master, hello, are you still with us? Sebastian said, trying to get your attention. And when he finally got your attention, he asked what in the world you were daydreaming about. Was I daydreaming everything? He shook his head and told you, well, if you're asking about me whispering in your ear, then no. It wasn't a daydream, although you did seem very invested in your thoughts after I did, though. You got so embarrassed that you hid underneath the table. So embarrassing. <laughs> Sebastian laughed. Please get up, listener. We have some things to talk about that I'm sure you're wondering about. You thought it was about your crush on him and didn't really want to know what in the million of answers could be that his was going to be. I have to say about your feelings. Even though you got up from underneath the table and looked at him. What are you wanting to talk about? He said shyly. Well, for one, I want to know what feelings you bear for me. I pretty much think I know what they are, but I want to hear it from you. You choked up and confessed all of the feelings that you had for him. So that's what your feelings that you bear for me. Well... I gotta say that I have some sibling, similar feelings towards you, my darling. He said as he smiled and leaned in and kissed your lips with such gentleness that it made your head spin. So guys, that was the end of the ASMR. Um, I hope you liked it. Um, this one was a rough one to write because whenever I wanted to stop writing, I'm like, uh, I need to make it longer to make a longer video. But this one was actually a pretty decent, decently long video. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. It took a while to write it. I think it took me like four hours. Um, but that might have just been because I was um, a little bit like, uh, should I really put this in there? Nah, let's, let's do this instead. So yeah, um. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!